Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hold on, guys. Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, some more Hill Farmstead goodness, courtesy of my man Jeff. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Um, this is Society and Solitude number five. Um, I am pretty sure I reviewed this beer about five years ago, um, but I don't remember it. I think I think Darwin sent me a growler of this randomly. I think it was Society and Solitude number five, um, but I can't remember. I think it was. I'd have to go back and look. Uh, but this is Pretty Label, an Imperial India Pale Ale brewed with American and New Zealand hops. Um, Hill Farmstead does not put ABV on their cans, which I don't understand why. Um, but thankfully, Jeff hooked me up with a little cheat sheet. So, Society and Solitude number five is 8% alcohol by volume. Um, this was canned on July 14th, so we are, time of recording, about two weeks in the can. Um, it's always fun to revisit beers that um, I've drank before. I, I have no recollection of this beer. It's been that long, so um, no preconceived notion. I'm sure I loved it because it's Hill Farmstead, and every Hill Farmstead beer I've had has been amazing. <laughs> Just spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, it'd be fun to drink this one again. So 12 ounce format. We talked about it last video. Um, I don't mind that, especially with an 8% beer. Like this is cool. Not mad at it. So we're using our Hill Farmstead glassware that Jeff said because beer tastes better in proper glassware. Beer pours an amazing straw yellow, just awesome, super hazy, just fucking, it looks so good in the glass. A uh, finger of fluffy bright white head. It's par for the course for Hill Farmstead. Their beers look absolutely beautiful every single time. Never had like an off-colored, oxidized, nothing. It just, their quality control is amazing. Show her nose in it. Ooh, this is sweet. Um, like sweet hops. This is like sweet. What is that? Sweet. I mean, there's obviously like citrus fruits in there. Um, but this is like that sweet kind of candied bubblegum sugary thing. What is that that I'm smelling? It's weird. It's like a generic sweetness and I can't pick it out. That's so strange. Usually like you smell beer and you're like, oh, it smells like this. Like that's not doing this. Maybe it's just sweet like tangerine juice that I'm smelling. There might be like a little bit, it might be like that kind of generic. I talk about like juice box. Like remember when you were a kid and you got like high C, it just says fruit punch. Like what is fruit punch? You don't know. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that sweet juice boxy kind of fruit punchy thing. But yeah, it's got like this cool, like candy, just sugary something. Um, I mean, it smells, it smells great. It just, it smells like it's going to taste sweet. And I, I mean, maybe it's only 8%. I was thinking like if this was like a nine or 10% beer, it'd be more like in line of smelling sweet like that. But I'm interested to see what this tastes like, Jeff. Cheers. Thank you, sir. It's crazy because that's nowhere near as sweet as it smells. Again, with Hill Farmstead, super, super soft. These beers remind me of how Treehouse used to taste, if that makes sense. Um, Treehouse, like in the months and days when, like, they just were taking hops and just, like, just showcasing them. And they were just this awesome, really just soft, amazing, like, pillowy kind of a beer. Um... It, it, it just, it reminds me of that just right off the bat. Um, the sweetness that we were smelling, it's definitely not as like near anywhere near as sweet as it smells, but it is, it's that juice boxy fruit punchy, um, even like some pineapple-y stone fruity, a little bit of a, um, uh, like sweet tangerine juice. It's funny because we just drank the Simcoe hopped beer that they did, the IPA, um, and that had that cool, like earthy kind of green bite to it. This does not have that. This is just soft waves of tropical fruit, citrus, um, like just kind of candied sweetness. This is a complete crusher for 8%. This does not drink like an 8% beer. Um, the mouthfeel is on point. The carbonation is spot on. This is just a joy to drink. This is so, so good. It almost gives off. I, I, it's so weird that I've been tasting this lately, but I've talked about in recent beer reviews. Um, it almost gives off like a raspberry thing, and I don't know why I've been tasting that lately. It's really, really strange. But it almost has like that kind of basket of like mixed berry kind of a smell. Or if you ever make like shakes and you use like the bags of like frozen mixed berries, almost, almost kind of like to that acai kind of a thing, which is weird to smell in beer, but or taste in beer or smell it for that matter. 
Um, but this is an absolute crusher for 8%. I love this. It's like I said, it's so soft. It's delicate. It's absolutely fucking delicious. So, um, we'll leave it at that. Another world-class beer from Hill Farm said, I mean, you guys who are on the East coast, if you're anywhere near Vermont, you should be checking these guys out, buying all the beer that you can. I mean, I don't know why you'd buy anything else. It's fucking amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. So, uh, that's society and solitude number five. It'll be interesting to go back and watch my old review and see what this was like about five years ago. Um, see how my tastes have changed and see how the beers change and all that good stuff. So uh, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.